Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Ecstasy by John Donne. John Donne is a metaphysical poet and we know what is metaphysics. Meta means far and physics means science. So something which is beyond science only is metaphysics. And another essence of this metaphysical poem is it always brings together two opposite ideas. And particularly in this poem, we find that Donne has brought together two widely opposite concepts together and that he has done in a very natural way. Moreover, in this poem, he expresses his ideas about unconventional love. Unconventional love means, conventional means what you are thinking for so many years. Unconventional is thinking the other way around. And at the same time, he talks about pure, spiritual and real love. And he tells that all this can exist only when the souls are bonded together. And how the souls are bonded together is when a bondage is established through the bodies. And for that he says that only when both the bodies are expressing true love, that will lead to true love in the soul which cannot be separated, that is which can be united together forever. At the same time he also criticizes the platonic lover who does not speak about the body and speaks only about the soul. And he says that only the fusion of the body and soul will strengthen the spiritual love. And for that he compares the bodies to planets and souls to angels. And he says that though the body and soul are inseparable, they are independent, they are separate. At the same time, both of them when they are bound together, we can reach ecstasy. Ecstasy means it's a state of divine feeling where the soul leaves the body and reaches God. And of course, Dawn in this poem agrees with Plato who talks about true love and says that true love is spiritual. But Plato speaks only about the soul, but Don says that we should not ignore the claims of the body because it is the body that brings the lovers together. Now we will go to the poem. Here he says, Way like a pillow on a bed, a pregnant bank swelled up to rest the violet's re reclining head. Now here the bank is the river bank. So he says that the river bank is swelled up like a pillow on a bed. And why it is said as a pillow is, he says that all the violets, violets are beautiful flowers, all the violets which are, are because of the um, slanted position are resting their head on the banks. So, the river bank is acting like a pillow of a bed for these violets. And at the same time he says, sat we two, one another's best. And he says in the same river bank, both of us are sitting. And one another's best means, he says, you are my best and I am your best. And both of us are sitting together in this bank. Our hands were firmly cemented with a fast balm which thence did spring. And he says we are sitting together with our hands both, both our hands firmly cemented, fixed together. And what is fixing the hands together is a balm. Balm means like a gum. And this actually he is talking about the sweating in the arms. And that sweat is caused because of the love which flows in their body. And he says that happened only now because of our closeness together. And then he continues saying, Our eye beams twisted and did thread our eyes upon one double string. And he says, both the eyes were looking at each other's eye. And it is as though we are threaded, as though someone has stitched our eyes together. So to intergraft our hands as yet was all the means to make us one. So he says, our eyes are looking at each other, we are looking at each other, just like how our hands are holding together and as though they are fixed. And all this is to make us as one. We are two now and all this is to make us as one. And pictures in our eyes to get was all our propagation. And pictures in our eyes is we are looking at each other. So your image is seen in my eye and my image is seen in your eye. And it is as though this is our only work. We are here sitting together, holding our hands and looking at each other. As twist to equal armies fate, suspense, uncertain victory. When two armies are fighting, actually the stronger army only will win. But if both the armies are of equal strength, then we cannot say who will be the person who is going to win. In the same way, now both of us are in equal love. We love each other so much. We cannot say that I love more or you love more. So, we don't know who is going to be the winner. 
our souls which to advance the state were gone out hung twist her and me and he says it is our souls actually our souls are not with us now they have gone to a higher level to take us to the next state of happiness and our souls have twisted both her and me has made both of us together as one and whilst our souls negotiate they we like sceptral sta statues lay and he says when our souls have gone to a higher level and when they are negotiating with each other we both like statues are lying down here all day the same our postures were and we said nothing all the day and throughout the day we were like a statues only they we did not make any changes in our position and at the same time for the whole day we did not say even a word we were very happy being quiet next to others because we understood each other so well if any so by love refined that he souls language understood because our souls language was understood by each other so what she wants to say i was able to understand and what i want to say she was able to understand and by good love we grown all mind within convenient distance stood so even if there is a distance in our body that is our body is not fixed together but because our mind is grown our love was in good state and we were able to understand each other he though he knew not which soul spake because both meant both spake the same spake means past tense of speak so he says he might tense a new concatenation take and part from far purer than he came and he says when our souls are united a new soul will come out and he says here when we are saying something we don't know who is saying because both of us are thinking the same thing and both of us are saying the same thing since our uh, soul is saying the same we don't know who which soul is speaking but a new soul has come concatenation means uh, saying something new inventing something new telling something on your own and this new soul is far purer than he came from where he came actually this new soul came from both these souls but we don't know how it is more purer from which soul so this new soul is a very pure soul this ecstasy doth unperplex and that is because our souls had gone to the state of ecstasy it was able to produce a purer soul we said and tell us what we love we see by this it was not sex we see we saw not what it more but as all several souls contain mixture of things they know not what love these mixed souls doth mix again so he says we said and tell us what we love we are only telling what we love because we are very happy and we see that it is not sex which is making us happy we see we saw that is what we are seeing now and what we saw in the past was not something which was moving away but it is the several souls they have in them a mixture actually they themselves don't know only when the souls are united then they will be able to understand this state of ecstasy and he says love these mixed souls that mix again because these souls will come together and they will always be together and makes both one and only when they are together both the souls will become one soul each this and that and both that one soul will have this soul and that soul together a single violet transplant to explain this idea he says when a single violet plant is going to produce a new plant transplant the strength the color and the size all which before was poor and scant redoubles still and multiplies so when he says when a violet produces a new plant the new plant will produce a violet flower which has more strength more color and more size than the parent plant now the strength the color the size has doubled or it is multiplied because this new plant is a finer soul is a purer soul than the first plant when love with one another so inter in animates two souls that able soul which tends to flow defects of loneliness controls in the same way when love is going to produce a new soul then the two souls which produced a new soul will find that the new soul is a much abler soul because it has controlled all the defects which were there in the two souls 
we then who are this new soul know of what we are composed and made for the atoms of which we grow so now who have we the two souls which has produced a new soul will know that this new soul is more purer than us because we can see it as a finer one our souls whom no change can evade and we can find out that the atoms in the new souls are from us therefore no other soul can come into this new soul because it is only these two souls which have intertwined with each other and produced the new soul but oh alas so long so far our bodies why do we forbear but he says why for all these years we have not thought about the body coming together whenever we talk about love we talk only about souls coming together and then he says they are us the body is also us though they are not we but only the body is not us we'll always say the soul only is us we are the intelligence they the spheres because the soul is the intelligence and where the intelligence is kept is the body we owe them thanks so he says so we have to thank the bodies because they thus did us to us at first convey because it is the body which conveys what we know yielded their senses forced to us nor are draws to us but ali it is the body which conveys our intelligence it is the body which conveys our thoughts it is the body which conveys our senses so we should not think the body as separate we must think that body is also a part of us on man's heaven influence works not so but that it first imprints the air so soul into the soul may flow through it to body first repair so he says we agree that body is not important but it should be understood that it is the body which allows the soul from one body to flow into the soul of the other body so a soul can enter into another soul only through a body and then he says as our blood labors to beget spirits as like souls as it can because such fingers need to knit that subtle knot which makes us man so he says how we need fingers to make a knot in the same way if we want to unite our souls we definitely need our bodies so must pure lovers souls descend its affections and to facilities which sense may reach and apprehend so he says we must definitely give importance to our body because only this body can allow us to show our affections and which this affections will facilitate to reach and to apprehend the other soul which we want to unite with so definitely he says we have to give importance to the body else a great prince in prison lies if you are not going to give importance to a body it will be like keeping a great prince in a prison to our bodies turn we then that so weak men on love revealed may look so he says definitely we have to give importance to our body and which all the weak men have not revealed because only a body can reveal your soul's love how else can a soul reveal its love only through the medium of body love's mysteries in souls do grow but yet the body is his book so he says love is a mystery it's something which you cannot understand and in your soul your love will grow but it is the body which acts like a book which can allow you to read what is inside the soul and if some lovers such as we have heard this dialogue of one suppose in case if someone is going to say soul only is important body is not important let him still mark us he shall see small change when we are to bodies gone so he says suppose if anyone is going to say that only soul's union is true love and the union of body is not true love let them first see how we are happy through the union of the bodies and through that we have made our souls come together and then he will understand the importance of the bodies so this is what he says in this poem i have given a small uh, summary of the poem because many of you have asked i'll just uh, explain as i am reading out the summary those who want can write it down or take screenshots up he the poem is actually written in a spring time and that is uh, and we understand it is spring time because he is talking about the violets all blooming and only because they are blooming they heads are decline and he says that they are resting their heads on the river bank which is like a pillow on a bed 
and we should understand that violets are the symbols of love and truth. And he says that lovers are sitting together holding each other's hand and they are looking into each other's eyes. And when they are looking at each other's eyes, the images are reflected in the other person's eye and therefore the sides are woven together. And this creates a sensation in their hearts and blood and because of that they are sweating and blushing. And he says that now their souls have reached a state of ecstasy because now the souls have escaped from the body and reached a state of bliss. And he says that when two souls join together, when they mingle with each other, a new soul is born. And this new soul is a finer soul which removes all the defects which were in the previous souls and also supplies whatever is lacking either in the single soul. And he says that this new reanimated soul which is making up for the two separate souls and gives them ecstasy. So when they see this new soul, they are so happy that they reach the state of ecstasy. But at the same time, he says that we cannot forget our body because the body is the house of the soul. The soul lives inside our body and the lover's souls are united into a single soul only with the help of this body. And he says that the lovers, <coughs> the foundation of spiritual love is the physical attachment. And for this, the eyes will serve as the gateway for the soul. That is, your soul can see the other person's soul only through their eyes. And he says that the physical union only will produce a stronger spiritual bond in future. And this union of the two souls finds strength like how when a violet is transplanted, it produces a better violet plant. In the same way, the united soul will be perfect, unchanging and also with a new energy in the new soul. And the lovers now understand that true love is a result of their physical attachment. And this physical attachment only led them to a spiritual union. And of course, souls are the spiritual beings. But the souls can move only with the help of the bodies. Therefore, body is the medium of contact of the two souls. Therefore, the lovers should also turn to their bodies and give respect to their bodies because the body is the medium of expression of love. Therefore, he appeals to the lovers to nourish their souls through their bodies, which will help them to reach towards the point of extreme joy. And this extreme joy only is ecstasy. So, this is what he says in this poem. If you have anything more to add on to this, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Only then you will get the notification of all my videos when I post them. Thank you.